Hey everybody, the Bong is here giving you the second installment of Let's Shoot 'em Up. That's right, the Bonga is going to do Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. This is actually the first shoot 'em up game that I actually own, so this is a game I definitely want to share with all you guys. Let's see, I do not feel like training and control A is good enough for me. Now what makes this game so unique is that there's three different paths for you to take. There's level 1, level 2, and the hardest, which is level 3. We're gonna do level 1 for this Let's Shoot 'em Up. Don't worry, I will do the other two paths later. But since this is the easiest one, we'll do this one first. Corneria, the beast. Star Fox Team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. And this is one of the first Super Nintendo games to take advantage of Mode 7 style gameplay. And they really maxed out the power of the sound card and the graphics card. This game just looked so fucking awesome when I first played it. It took a while to get used to, but once I did, I had a hard time putting this game down. Let's do this, motherfuckers! Two barrel! Damn it, do a fucking barrel! There, that's better. Let's go through the oops. Or the arches, I meant to say. Yeah, I saw you slipping. Now go fuck yourself. Don't get in my way. Now a good way to get a high score here is basically kill every enemy you see, you know? That's how you get points in this game. Get out of my way! Ooh, ground monster, let's kill it! This one's mine. No it ain't! This one's mine. Ah, fuck you, Falco. It's not like you're gonna have any single success ever. Except for Super Smash Brothers, maybe. I'm not gonna be stupid. I'm not gonna fly between those things. Let's go. This shoot 'em up will give me a little bit more therapy compared to Gradius, that's for sure. That game was unforgivably hard. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. Speed up! What? Speed up again! Get out of my way! Oh yeah, you gotta help your partners too, otherwise they will not help you for the rest of the game if they're dead. And that star David there is not to turn Jewish, but to get a checkpoint. Uh oh. The shit, there's gonna drop enemies. Die, robot. It's boss time. You know, that first boss there looks like a shape like a penis and two testicles. I mean, look, that's the penis head right there. I'm gonna shoot it off, give it a circumcision. And now we got the two testicles. Now let's do a castration. Well, dodging the missiles while we're at it. Oh, I guess we gotta wait. Oh no. The scrotum is mad at us. Can't say I blame it. Woohoo! First boss defeated. Boom! Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh shit, it's chicken! 
So far, so good, good, good. Okay, okay. What's next? New sweat, fucks. Well, let's see how good we did. Woohoo! 100%. I rock. And because I got 10,000 points, I get an extra continue. Which is good. I can do some continues. Well, actually, not really. I can just load state whenever I die anyway. Let's go to the asteroid belt. Andros forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy their rock crusher. Huh. <laughs> that level's called Asteroid Belt. It's got ass in it. Oh, now we're in cockpit mode. But you can't switch back to your standard mode where you can actually see the outside of your ship. But I like to get used to this too, so... Ah, <laughs> you suck. That's a little blue thing there just flying out in space. His head's gonna swell and he's gonna die. That's what outer space does to you. There's no oxygen. Okay, the red asteroids you can destroy, but the gray ones you can't. Oh great, now I gotta babysit Peppy. Yeah, thanks, uh, you're fucking welcome. But get out of my way. I just... HA! You went right to my windshield. Now I gotta use my wipers all over your guts. The most effective thing about the barrel roll, which I just demonstrated, is if you're spinning while you're getting attacked with a laser, you deflect it. And you take no damage. Which is awesome. That's why right, doing a barrel roll kicks ass. If you can pull it off, of course. I mean, it's not that hard. Just just double click the uh, L and R buttons. I'm gonna fly between those three asteroids here. Yay! Now I got the ultimate lasers! Twin plasma beam! I gotta try not to lose one of my wings, because if I do, I go back to the level 1 lasers, and then I gotta get a wing repair. Plus, I'm also more vulnerable to damage if I lost one or both of my wings. Of course, I can still fly, I just take more damage. Oh, great. Now I gotta babysit Peppy. I mean, Slippy, I mean. Now, Peppy's the rabbit, Slippy's the frog, yeah. And Falco's the bird. Get out of the fucking way! You're gonna get shot if you keep standing right in front of me! God, you're worse than most traffic. Star Fox is gonna have our wing rage as soon as this is over. Ah, fuck. And I just got the paint done off that. Well, let's use one of my noble hubs. Die, evil Triforce. You belong in a different game. Oh, here's a rock crusher. Gotta wait for this chorus to start blinking. It would be a good idea to barrel often against this guy. Now we're going to the second phase. Which was easy as hell. Considering I got the plasma shot. And of course, they say the exact same thing as provided they did not take any damage. And luckily, friendly fire does not damage your buddy, so... You can shoot them all they want, and they can bitch all they want, but they're not, but they're gonna stay around. Which is awesome, I like that. I like making my friends my bitch. Now, let's see how well I did. 
Eighty-seven percent. That's bullshit. Come on. I am not happy with that. I should file a protest. Anyways, let's go into hyperspeed. And we'll take on the Space Armada next time on Let's Shoot 'em Up Star Fox. This is the Baga signing off saying goodbye and see you all later.